been touring around the states and prepping for the Bones album. It's been pretty busy. We started the tour a couple of days ago up in Mammoth. You know, it's just uh, the West Coast is wonderful. It's cool to be over here, different vibe, mm -hmm. different kind of spirit of it. So nice. it's, uh, I don't know. It's been wonderful for me. You know, we uh, we've kind of working towards this, working on the album, and then like you know, the, the release of the album for about the past like, 12 months, maybe 18 months. Yes, you know, it's the beginning of the recording process to, to now. So we're excited to be here at this point. You know, where we can actually see things kind of coming together and you know, be on the album release tour and have the record in hand. For this album, a lot of the writing was actually done in the studio. So it was this completely raw like way of capturing a tune and we weren't really, really sure of what we were getting until we'd go into the control room and listen to it. The last couple of projects we had done, we recorded songs we were playing on the road for years. So we had a chance to like really fine tune them live and you know, kind of figure them out uh, before we put them on tape. Having a song come together that way is just such a different feel than like getting to, to road testing. It's a cool place to be, you know, after like I said, 18 months of work and creating and figuring it, everything out. Who came up with the name Delta C? Or where did that name come from? <laughs> it's been the, kind of the running joke. It was kind of out of like procrastination. Eight years ago we, we started kind of getting together and writing and uh, had a few songs written and then had some shows or had a, a show coming up or something and waited to the last minute you know for it and early on in, in kind of what we were doing it was much more like kind of Delta Blues influence whereas now I think it's a little bit more modern rock and roll. So Delta, you know, that's kind of where that came from. And then I think we were drinking, and, you know, it was kind of like this ironic, like, Saints, you know, kind of thing, you know. So it kind of, again, it was this thing where we were all around, and you're like, what does it sound like? And it sounds like blues, and we're all, you know, hanging out, and drinking beer, and we're like, well, we build the Saints. When did you all realize you wanted to be a music group? It kind of happened on accident. Uh, we all went to school, or most of us went to school for music when we were starting out. Okay. Did you all know each other at the time? We didn't, no. And we we kind of like, at least this is my experience, uh, but moving to Nashville, there's a really big kind of hired gun culture around musicians. Like there's not a lot of like band mentality. So this band kind of started with that, like we all kind of still gravitated towards that mentality of being in a band and really like, you know, being on the road and sticking it out and, and kind of the brotherhood of being. So we kind of just rolled into it on accident. So you have toured all over the U.S. and the Europe. Is there a certain place you would like to eventually you know, perform at? There's definitely pages of the bucket list that are yet to be. Yeah. I really yeah. want to go to Australia. The Australia would be cool. I really want to go to Svalbard. Yeah. Norway. It's like one of the most. It's in the Arctic Circle and there are polar bears. Really? You can only get there by plane. The sun doesn't set. Yeah, yeah. the sun doesn't set. So it's like a 24 hour. Like, so that'd be pretty awesome. I don't know. I just. I just want to be doing this in a year or two years or five years. You know, it's kind of, mm -hmm. kind of the, the goal to create something that, that is sustainable and you know, that allows us to do this until we're old and no one wants to hear us anymore. So we're going to wrap this up with some speed questions. We'll just go back and forth. It's going to be great. You go first. All right. Okay, ready? Best impression of each other. Uh, my name is... Uh, I can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> I, mine would be a smell and it would be... It wouldn't be good. It wouldn't be good. Craziest tour memory. We lost our guitar player in Munich during Oktoberfest. If the Delta Saints could collaborate with anyone, who would it be? Tiny Tim. Such a freak spirit, such a cool, like, had his own thing. Is there a theme song for this tour? It's honestly the theme song to Mario Tennis. We just hooked up on yeah. Nintendo 64. Oh my gosh, it's so incredible. fun. Yeah, it, it, just burning through hours. But the problem is, it's like everybody's now, like, a little, like, Agitated. 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 You know, because like, cause there's like, there's teams now, so there's this, this kind of unofficial like hierarchy now. Are you guys a team? No, we're not. We're not. We're. I actually just schooled him. Really Did you really? Ask, yeah. <laughs> Schooling was not what happened. My player was overweight and diabetic. I don't recommend Mario. Yeah. Uh, he's a power player, man. He'll surprise you. Just stop hitting to the corners. <laughs> what is one thing you both can't live without? I do. Yeah, I would have to say that too. Oh, man. We've had Thai food probably every day. Yeah. Do you have a personal motto? Don't fuck with the devil. I've so. adopted that. Yeah. I mean, it literally, it's, it's, it, that comes, like, you look at any situation in life, mm -hmm. positive or negative, and I think you can boil it down to, like, did that person or did that person <laughs> not? And I've got a long way to go.